Hello and welcome to another video. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Normally I would do a storing photo cards video but I quite literally just don't have enough cards to warrant doing a storing photo cards video. Um, so it didn't make sense to make one. It would have been like 10 minutes long. It would have been kind of pointless. Um, whereas next month I'll have loads of extra cards so I will be able to do a nice long video instead. Um, so very sorry that this isn't the usual storing video. Uh, today I thought I would do some binder maintenance, setting up, moving things around, just kind of go through like all my binders and just kind of see what needs doing and seeing what needs setting up because there were a bunch of comebacks that happened, uh, be it Korean or Japanese this month. Um, and also this month I did go see Stray Kids at Hyde Park. So um, that's sort of where all my money went this month. <laughs> um, so I haven't really been able to collect things as much as I wanted to. I do have my Stray Kids albums on the way, but they haven't even shipped yet. Um, I ordered through eBay and like I've got sp specific store pubs and those stores haven't released their albums yet. So I think I'll be waiting a little while before mine arrive. So yet another reason why I just don't have anything to store this month. But we can set up for all these things and we can like do some binder maintenance in general and also just like move some stuff around. Um, and hopefully that's just as enjoyable for you guys. I totally understand if it's not really real vibe and you don't really want to do it. But if you're just like nosy about how I've set up for things or what my binders are looking like at the moment, feel free to stick around. <laughs> um, also, sorry for my croak of voice. As I mentioned, I went to see Stray Kids at Hyde Park and I think I may have like screamed so bad my voice is still a bit croaky now. Like even though it's, even though it's a week later, I still have a croaky voice. So bear with me. <laughs> Um, anyway, as usual, a rambling intro, same old, same old. <laughs> um, so the first binder that I've got out is TXT. And what I want to do with this, as you can see, like it's way too full. This is a 40 millimeter binder. So I'm going to move Subin into a bigger binder. I've got a 50 millimeter that I've already put their name on. So I'm just going to move them into here um, to start with so that there's more room, basically. Okay, so I've moved him into here now, and then I'm going to just um, check through what I'm missing for this binder. So I'm still missing this reverse version. I literally can't find it. So annoying. And then I have, uh, I'm missing these two versions. And then I did just... And then I just traded with someone for this spinning tie. So I actually have that on hand now. So I put a little envelope on it. Um, so yeah, I'm just missing some cue. And then I have trades for all those cards, but tra like trading is basically impossible now. So that's fun. Um, right, then for the Japan comeback, I have actually set up the pages. I'm just going to put them in. So I'll explain how I've organized it in a second with a template oh my god today these pages just don't want to play along it's really insane so so i'm just using this template um that i found from this person and um i have pretty much all the selfie cards on this page on the way plus the like pop-up trading cards yeah, these are the pop-up cards, so these ones here, plus uh, his limited B, his standard, and then the, this lucky draw here, and then this tower record is which one again? But then I've got his, his HMV, this message card, and then his other, where is it, his HMV lucky draw i think here because these are the only two that aren't in the same outfit as anything else and then for this page i'm not explaining this very well i think it will be better when i actually have the cards on hand um but yeah then for this page he has seven cards in this like outfit so the limited a the ums the solo jacket i think i have this ums card on the way and then his lucky draws again in this outfit and then plus the three 
trading cards. So that's the cards that I have set up on this page as a seven pattern. So this will be one outfit and then these rows will be the same outfit and then this will be just the outlines. So I think that's the best way to like set up the era. But yeah, and then, yeah, and then I'm nearly done with these cards. I'm missing like a handful. I'm mainly missing with fans and Nava cards. Like those are the ones, these Japan lucky drawers, I've given them their own page. I genuinely might just take the whole page out because I don't think I'm ever going to find these for an acceptable price. Like I've seen a set of them and it was over a hundred pounds. And I'm just like, what's wrong with people? Like really, is that really how much they're worth? I don't know. I'm just so confused. Um... So I'm, yeah, I'm not fussed about that. And then I, again, I'm just missing with fans one and two for tomorrow. And then tomorrow is complete. So, um, well, for what I wanted to collect, I didn't collect the concept cards very much, but yeah, that's set up for everything. I am debating putting other stuff back in here, but this binder is like nearly full already. And obviously like they're going to have com more comebacks. So I'm like, I don't know. I feel like I've not got that much room for growth as it is, but. I don't know. I'm not going to set up my the small super binders because I'm not fully sure what size the trading cards are. Because um, I have the like Japanese act promise trading cards. And last time the sweet mirage cards were um, photo card size, not like mini tour card size. So I'm not sure what size they are. So I don't want to set up because I don't know what they look like until they're on hand, which they're not on hand now. So yeah, that's everything. That's what I wanted to do for TXT. This is another binder that I'm probably gonna have to separate out soon, which is really, I just can't believe how much stuff there is. So there's nothing for Lissera Film because Lissera Film's up to date. The only thing I don't have of Unchase is this. I have put this, this is up for trade, but it's just, it's not a priority. <laughs> um, they are supposed to be having a comeback soon. So obviously I will set up for that when that's, announced but until it's announced i'm not setting up <laughs> um there's nothing to set up so yeah we're on to end hyphen so i did already set up for this let me see so where did i set up for this there's orange blood i set up right after orange blood i think i put yeah i put this at the back of the i'm still missing this other card i just need to like buy it because yes yeah, so the way i set this up so here is spoilers if you don't want to see the photo cards, but here's the template. I don't know if you can see that very well, but there. So he's got these. This is insane. Um, and then the Arcanum and then the concession. I'm thinking because the problem I have is like this is a light cut. These three are very light and then this three are very dark. But his outfits in general, are, I'm thinking even though. So I'm thinking I will put these the other way around basically just because the outfit two dark outfits and then the light outfit in the middle so that's the only thing i think i need to change about how i set this up so it would be like these two here these two here and then these two here and then these are his engine cards so i'll put them in the middle and then the weavers again you get a full ot7 set so i'm just gonna set I've literally put one filler in, <laughs> um, but I'm just going to store this the way I did with the other ones. Let me see here, the way I did dark blood. So I did, I did the full set like this, and then I put his two. So I'm going to just lay out exactly the same way for this one. So I don't think I need to do any changes to this. I just need to get this card. And then obviously I need to sort out these albums. Uh, I usually always buy the Weavers and the Engine versions, uh, like, secondhand anyway, but I'm not sure what I'll do about the main album versions um, yet. But yeah, that's, I don't think I need to set up anything else in here, because this is, this is set up and I'm pretty happy with how it's set up, so, so that was relatively nice and quick. Um, yeah, I just need to get the albums, really, uh, in order to... Collect it, but I did love um, the album. I just, and Hyphen makes good music. I don't know what to say really. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it for this binder, thankfully. On to the uh, 
SM binders. So for us, but I have rearranged this. Um, I'm going to mark off all the ones I have not. I think the only ones I don't have are My Power, The Authentic, so these two. And then I don't have the uh, HMV exclusive, like, European one. I ha I pulled Ning Ning, so if anyone wants to trade, like, please do. So these two I don't have, but I do have all of... That's the wonkiest envelope I've ever drawn in my life. My handwriting is so great. So I have all of these on the way i'm just missing authentic my power and the hmv i have trades for all of them i have trades from other ver i bought all of these so i have trades from my other versions as well so it, i'm just looking for these three cards i desperately need to find a trade but yeah so that's already set up and then i wasn't going to but then i just happened to find basically like a set of like all of her hot mess cards so we'll just put it in chronological order and then next korean comeback i'll decide if i wanted to split korean then japan or if i just do it in chronological order um i'll probably just keep it chronological to be honest so uh here well gosh here's the template i found for hot mess this was just like the first one i grabbed i don't know if you can see that username i don't know anyway um so this is just the first one i grabbed and i have the three obviously the actual album cards and then I also have the Tower Records benefit, this one. And then I have this Rakuten because it's so cute. Um, so the Rakuten and the Hot Mess version are the same outfit. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do a five pattern, which I don't love, but there's only five cards. So we'll make do. And then, uh, let's see, I'll put, put the limited there. And the poster has like a pink background. So I'll put that one in the middle and then the Tower Records here and i have i'm not going to bother putting envelopes on all of these because i know i have the entire page on the way um but with the other thing it's good to mark what i have on the way because i never remember once it's on hand i'll forget what version everything is so <laughs> that will help so yeah that's just how i'm going to set that up i think um but at least i have it like done it's not like i'm it was like really straightforward to collect so yeah, and then I move the group card onto its own page and like anytime I get miscellaneous cards, I'll just put them on this page. I'm not in a rush. <laughs> and then NCT just had their comeback. So 127, I should say, had their comeback. So this is where, hello. <laughs> this is where we left off. I've taken all the fillers out but, and then I've made the fillers. So let me put this here so i'm gonna be honest i don't love this outfit <laughs> i don't know anyway but these like four this is there's eight cards and i've got six spaces here so i'm obviously gonna have to do that i'm not sure if i care about the id card or the crew character card i'm gonna be so real with you um i do collect like the ids normally like for this stuff but i'm not sure if i care for them for this i've got the poster version and then the the walk podcast this is so confusing s mini japan i have not set up for the what it, what is going on right and then i've put the walk crew card okay and then i've i've put this is what's confusing me is i obviously used a different template before and I only set up for seven cards, not, I didn't set up for, what's confusing me is I think I set up for these two and not the selfie. So I'm actually just going to take this out and I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to assume this means this card here because I, I've messed up. Anyway, that's fine. We don't know what the S mini or the Japan card looks like yet. So that's kind of hard to fully set up. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the character card and the podcast there and then the poster card there i'm so sorry if you can hear the bird outside <laughs> yeah i think we'll just we'll just blag it so the japan the walk 
and yes and i'm honestly so i just don't i don't really vibe with cards like this anyway this fills a page perfectly so i'm kind of tempted to just leave it otherwise i've got to start a new page for these two cards and i'm just not vibing with them like they're not very cute so and i like i said this is my least favorite outfit <laughs> from this set so I don't really care for those, so I'm not going to collect them. I think I'll just collect these six and call it a day. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. I feel suddenly, like, all of a sudden, like, loads of people came back all at once, and now it's like, I need to buy... I need to buy these cards. I need to buy the Esper cards. I need to buy Enhypen cards. I need to buy the boys' cards. I need to buy TXT cards. Like, <sighs> it's, like, all happening at once, which happened... It happens about twice a year that like sudden everyone syncs up their schedules. It's so annoying. Uh, anyway, yeah, that is it for the Assam binder. <laughs> okay, this one's a bit different. I don't actually need to set up anything because I've already set up for Cuffed Up, which I will show you just quickly. I'm pretty sure I showed this in my stream video. But like, I've mainly set it up by like outfit. I've made no progress on this whatsoever. Just the heat I've pulled. <laughs> I'm... Yeah, I'm not doing too great with the coupler right now. But what I am going to do <laughs> is move new jeans into the binder I just freed up from TXT. I'm just going to put new jeans in this, basically. So I haven't collected their most recent comeback. And I'm definitely not collecting Japanese comebacks. I've decided, like, point blank, that's not happening. Um, just because I need to focus on other collections. But also... Um, obviously with everything going on right now, I'm just, just a bit like awkward. So I'm kind of waiting for that to play out before I decide to keep collecting them, I think. This is not me like getting rid of them. If I wanted to get rid of them, I would just sell the whole collection. That's not the case. We're just waiting for and kind of an update on the whole situation that's going on before I pick up anything with them. But I just put them in their own binder because I want, because I like the, it's a pretty big, collection and if i do get the next the, the latest album this will grow quite quickly because it's quite a few pages at once so it just made sense to give them their own binder especially while their collection's kind of on pause for my own ease that's why i've done this that being said back to where i've got Kapla, i am actually going to add a new group and i'm going to add lily from and mix and i'm yeah, I don't know. I've been thinking about this. I haven't started her collection officially yet, but I have set up for it. Um, okay, I'll kind of explain what I've done as I add in each page, maybe. I don't know. Um, you know what? Let me add all the... So I've... Because I don't want to put all these sleeves away on camera. I'm just going to put in all the, the pre-planned pages and then we'll talk through it as we go. So, yeah. Basically... After Hyde Park, I just, I did, re I realised, like, I literally love every, like, they were performing and I was like, I know the words to all these songs. <laughs> and, um, and I loved, I've especially, especially loved their music since Love Me Like This came out. Like, I've, that whole album is a masterpiece. Um, but they're really talented and I've always said that and I always have felt that. Um, and, like, I've always loved Lily. Like, if you follow me on Twitter, you see me quote videos of Lily all the time. <laughs> um, so it kind of made sense after I saw them at High Park. I was like, yeah, I need to stop holding back. Like, I clearly stand and mix. <laughs> um, yeah, I just decided to welcome Lily to the collection. Like I said, I haven't bought anything yet. I've literally only set up for this. I have seen quite a few sets on, like, Makari Japan and stuff. So that's kind of what encouraged me. I was like, yeah, this is doable. Like, why not? So I have this template um, as, like, a rough guide. I do have quite... I have a couple different templates which show different things on them. But this one's, like probably the best one to use as an example so what i've decided is i'm going to do like a nine pocket per era pretty much so except for their last era which has ended up being two pages so for ad med there's four cards i guess there's actually like technically there's also an id so like i could always potentially collect that and then rearrange this slightly but basically i was going to do her her two light cards here and then her lenticular in the middle and then like this limited card here and then try and get a pob in the same outfit to kind of balance and then fill out the rest of the page with like pobs, lucky drawers, anything like that. Um, like I said, I've already seen sets of cards where like there's like several pobs in with her arm cards. So that's what made me think this is doable. Um, so that's Admet. And to have had six cards. So there's the two light versions, which I... I think I, I think they're called, I called them the standard on here. 
So like one and two here, and then there's the limited. There's three cards for the limited, so there's the non-selfie, and then there's the other two limited selfies, and then the jewel case, and then I'll fill out the other three spaces with pre-order cards. And then for X Virgo, there's A, B, limited and digipack. So I did standard one, standard two, limited, selfie, limited, non-selfie, and then the digipack, and then just put pre-order cards in the corners. Um, like I said, I'm kind of looking at sets. So if I happen to get cards that sort of match each other, then I might rearrange the page once I have cards on hand. So then for a Midsummer and Mixed Dream, there's two Athens, two Forest, two Answer, and then a Digipack. So that's seven cards total. So I only need two pops. So I've kind of done it Athens, photo card Polaroid, and then mirrored that with Forest down here, and then done the Digipack in the middle and the Answer on either side, and then a pop in each corner. I'm calling them pops, but like it's probably going to be like a fan call card or something, which isn't necessarily a pre order card <laughs> um, or a lucky draw, just whatever I can get, um, preferably in a set of some description. But like, we'll just see what we get. So then we're on to is it iron oxide break? Don't yell at me if I just got that completely wrong. Anyway, there's loads of cards. For Why are there so many cards for this album? Um, right now I'm not planning on collecting the actual albums just because it's so many albums and I just don't have time. Now if a set I buy I provides me with an album I'm not going to throw it away. Um, the only album I would really like to get is the limited version of Lily's album because it has that cute little plushy thing in it and I just want to display it. It's just really cute. <laughs> um, but yeah there's loads of cards. This there's, there's two square one cards which I've put here and then there's two mixed blood cards and then there's two limited cards and then there's a poster version so I put that in the middle and then I put two pops either side and then I'm just gonna do because it looks to me like there's see so then there's there's three Nemo selfie cards which will go in the middle and then it looks to me like there's concept cards as well and there's like three of each outfit or something so I'm gonna just fill the page with Nemo cards um, I just didn't make fillers because I didn't see a point so that's how I'm gonna do it this isn't going to be something that I like bulldoze through, but I have found a few sets already that I've got my eye on. So I'll probably try and get through a bulk of it just so I have some of the sets. But yeah, I'm actually so excited to collect this. I think Lily's cards are so cute as well, especially because she has like pink hair for like most of, for like three eras in a row. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm excited. I... I think this will end up on the back burner a little bit just because of like every other comeback that's happened this month it's not really the right moment to start a new collection yeah obviously i will put the wish list up next month once i actually start buying cards i don't want to put the wishes up just yet because yeah i want to see what i can get first before i sort of put it up for like letting people offer trades and stuff but um yeah i'm super excited and i picked this really cute picture of her <laughs> um yeah I just thought why not because like I said I love her she's great and yeah I like I love Enmix and like all the girls are lovely and they're so funny and yeah I'm excited to I'm excited to chip away at this <laughs> um so yeah that's the big change I guess it's just a new collection but I think just doing a page per era more or less obviously like as long as I've got all the Korean cards and then just filling in gaps so that I have full pages rather than like white sleeves I think that's the way to do it um so yeah but that was it for this binder so time is set up for eight um so now I just collect top three and then I collect any for the digipack stuff um I used to collect OT8 from no easy forward and, and I downsized right so all right so I'm just gonna put in a bunch of pages so let's assume that's the right amount of pages <laughs> Okay, so I'm looking at these. So first things first, these are the, the accordion is the Digipack member version. So these are the sets for this. So we'll be collecting innies for these as well. So um, these ones are straightforward. I know that these are the Digipack and the Digipack pop. So I've got the f eight members. So I'll put that in after the album cards like this. Um, so it's probably going to be this page, but I don't know yet. So I'm just going to put 
put that to one side and we're going to exclude them from what we're doing and then these Nemo sets will be at the back so I'm literally just going to put because you get the OT8 set so I'm literally just going to put that in like that to start with so these back two pages will just be for that so then I've got four pages left I don't know so we have a a and b nemo card each so that's two and then a letter pre-order card and then they have like two units each and then we have three that's eight haha <laughs> pun what to do what to do so the chick chick version matches this this outfit for this unit and then i think the letter pop is the same outfit, so that should be all one page so I'm going to write, I've got my like member fillers, I'm just going to in pencil put the version, let me speed through. So we've got the chick chick, so we've got this letter card and then this chick chick card and then I want to put these units so there's only so Hyunjin and Lino have a unit together okay so I didn't make fillers for the units by the way these sleeves are the dragon shield peach jewel sleeves for anyone wondering um so I'm literally just gonna put Lino plus Hyunjin in like the worst handwriting ever and we'll put that one there and then it's Chan and Felix. Okay. I am only going to collect what has my top three in it. Unless I pull one of Innie's really cute cards and I might end up keeping it, which is so bad. Um, but yeah, as a result, I'm going to do this in an eight pattern because obviously they know Hyunjin together so the only other option would be to collect a second version of this unit and I just don't see a point Hyunjin will be under Hyunjin Bang Chan will be under Bang Chan so I think it works to do it like this and these are all in the same outfits so then we have this boom version and then there's each member has its own has their own unit for this so so let's put those and then I've got these cat ones so <laughs> let's put boom at the top here And the problem is, is that so we've got the versions we've got left are the limited and the two Nemo sets, which is its own page, maybe. Yeah, oh, this is an uneven number of cards, which is just like really not cute. So I think what we might do, maybe I will collect. See, I'm quite tempted to collect all four units, but it still wouldn't matter because wouldn't work you know what i'm gonna turn this into a seven pattern because this is innie's best card so i'm actually going to do something diabolical okay i'm gonna collect jongin's card for this version only and then this makes a seven pattern and everything on this page will be the right the same outfit and it is in this unit anyway, so I won't have to collect an extra unit. I would just need to collect an extra album card. But like, look how cute this card is. I'm like, not even sorry about it. Um, anyway, so then we can put the limited and then the two Nemo versions together. 
and finish off. So let's just put Nemo A. I think the limited version is called the 8 version, so I'm just going to put 8. Okay, so that's all of them. And then, as I said before, the digipacks. So I do have these four members digipacks on the way. Obviously, that doesn't guarantee their cards, but... I will be trying to trade for their cards. So yeah, we'll do regular and then pob here. So yeah, that's how I've ended up. I might put this one at the front because it's the only like full page. Like it's the only one that's actually going to be a full nine pocket without gaps. <laughs> Quite literally nothing you can do about it like this is just how because they did the units and stuff how it's all worked out but I'm pretty happy with that and then obviously then the full Nemo sets will go here um I do have pre-order cards obviously but I'm not going to set up for that because I genuinely don't know what I'll pull and and what I want to do yet um and obviously until I see all the pre-order cards I don't know which ones I want to collect so I don't want to set up to collect ones that I end up not wanting I don't know yeah, that's how I set up A. I really uh, think it's going to look really nice when it's done. Obviously, I need to just wait for my albums to arrive now. But the album is so good. Like, I haven't been this excited for a Stray Kids comeback. Well, about a Stray Kids comeback, like, since Ordinary. Like, Ordinary was just such a phenomenal era. But this one, I think, is even better. Like, I just feel like they're at top form right now. Um, They just continue to impress me. And obviously, like, after seeing them live, they are so good live. I like 10 out of 10 recommend if you're if you're considering getting tickets for their upcoming tour and you're not sure yet do it it's totally worth it <laughs> um yes yeah, so that's everything for stray kids ending the video with the boys as per so spoiler alert for gibberish but this is the um cards for gibberish for young Un. i do collect both young Un and hyunjae but i'm just gonna use young Un's template i have a couple of sets already sourced so I think I just want to do this exactly how I did delicious so I only made fillers for one page and then I've made sure it's the second page so the fillers show through <laughs> um so the way I yeah I do I think I agree with how I've set this up so the way I've done it is this version first like these ones and then these three on the bottom and then UMass fan cafe and then this tower records in the middle and then these two I'm just going to get for young Un. I'm not going to get for anyone out um, I'm not going to get for Hyunjae um, and then there's four units and Hyunjae isn't in any of these units so if I show you Hyunjae's he's got four completely different units of course his units had to be with Sunu so it's gonna be a nightmare but yeah so I might see because i'm gonna definitely get all three of these for young Un regardless but i might see about getting one of these instead for the middle because i think these are cuter for hyunjae so i will just see which one i can get really out of these three and then because i'm gonna get all three for young Un, i'll just put the matching one for young Un in the middle here <laughs> um and then i've put a space in for the other two in my other binder i'm not going to show that and then yeah so then young Un's units and hyunjae's units here and that's it so yeah i did set that up correctly i was worried i didn't but yeah that's how i set up for this um i do have i think all of these cards and these two cards for young Un. i still need to get these three and the units and then i need to get all of hyunjae's one thing that is good is this month i was able to get um a vip ticket to see the boys in september i'm gonna get to high touch the boys again and this time Eric is going to be there because he wasn't there last time so this is so exciting I'm finally going to meet Eric for the first time like <laughs> um yeah so so excited about this and again uh check out this album it's so good and yeah that was everything I had to set up for here because in the back here is just like my random stuff I bought so much merch I don't want to set up for it because I just don't even know 
the boys just don't stop and like i've reached a point where it's like i can't i can't stay on top anymore <laughs> um so yeah i'm still way behind on fantasy but this should be a lot easier than fantasy because you can just sort of snatch up the cards pretty quickly but i do need to make progress on all my other the boys stuff but yes that is everything for this and that's actually everything for this video because i don't think i need to set up anything else so many comebacks <laughs> this month so much to catch up on um but yeah hopefully this is enjoyable sorry it's not my usual string photo cards video but i literally have about six cards to put away so it just wouldn't have been worth doing but i didn't want to not do a video at all this month that didn't feel very fair um but hopefully that means next month we're going to put away so much exciting stuff like fingers crossed <laughs> but yes thank you so so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed even though it's a bit different from my usual videos and hopefully this gets you excited for the next string video <laughs> um which will be in august which is actually my birthday month so and young ones <laughs> i will see you in the next video there's a link in the description to all my supplies so um feel free to click there and like read through before asking any questions um but yeah i do love when you guys um leave comments i mean, it's so exciting to talk to you all, all of you because you're all so lovely um so yeah leave a like if you want to see more videos like this subscribe if you want to see more content from me especially if you want to see next month's drawing video <laughs> but yeah i hope that you're having a lovely day week month year and i will see you in the next video bye